Hello humans and welcome to single member of Audio Face since Dan and I chose the worst time to both take vacations. Um, he is doing a review of Kendrick Lamar's new record but I'm going to do The Smiles debut record um, and just give you kind of my, my, my thoughts, my first little opinions and stuff on the list before we do our full, full review when we get back together next week. So it's... Uh, 13 songs, 53 minutes long. Um, the Smile consisting of Tom York, Johnny Greenwood of Radiohead, and their friend Tom Skinner on drums, and produced by the one and only Nigel Godridge, um, who's a long-time Radiohead contributor, as well as producing stuff with um, Tom York, Johnny Greenwood, and he's done stuff with many other bands. He just did a project with Arcade Fire as well, but nonetheless, first opinions on their debut record from The Smile. It's really, really good. I was spoiled by a couple of the singles that they released and they did a live Glastonbury show last year um, a virtual Glastonbury show and a lot of those tracks that were played at that show were on the record but there was still quite a bit of new material that I did not hear and I think as a side project with uh, as for as for Radiohead this is one of the best side projects that they have done um, it's it's unique in the way that it's uh, it's made. It sounds very, it sounds kind of a combination of their new school stuff along with their old school stuff. You really get to hear a lot of Tom York and Johnny Greenwood's influences of their own solo work and kind of what they did together, and them putting their own two solo works, combining them, and then having just the the capability of Tom Skinner as a drummer as well, combining that, and that's what you get with their record. And it is quite good. I really really enjoy it. Um, I'm excited to hear what Dan thinks of um, and kind of what you guys are thinking of, but a couple of quick remarks before I, I get off here and before we do our full, full review. Um, I really like the way that Johnny Greenwood has a couple tracks that he loops his guitar. It reminds me of some of his um, tracks that he released maybe about 10 years ago or so that he did solo with the, the London Contemporary Orchestra. And with those, the way that it's produced, it sounds amazing. It sounds really rocky, but still kind of experimental and radiohead -y, But it's just different enough that it wouldn't work as a Radiohead project in a way. But it's unique enough to where it still pushes rock that further, the alternative rock that little bit further, which is desperately needed in this genre and in this category too. So um, overall, first impressions of the listen, it is Great. There's a lot that I really want to dive into more on the full review, um, but overall fantastic. And I'm really excited to hear what you guys think as well. Um, if you should share the same opinions, if you share different opinions, let me know. Comment down below because, you know, we like all of that. And we do our comment show every once in a while too. So, um, But stay tuned for our full review of The Smile as well as Kendrick Lamar and uh, The Black Keys will do that. Um, all three of those records when um, Dan and I get back from vacation. But just give you guys a quick little thing of my opinions and stuff but other than that have a wonderful day and we'll talk to you guys later cheers